Hello, everybody, and welcome back. The American Rescue Plan finally signed into law, and everything I've been talking about that you've heard me over and over again is finally coming true, okay? <laughs> and if you know what? If you don't follow this each and every day, you will be lost, okay? Because things change each and every day in all of these programs, okay? Today is March the 16th. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Uh, this is your late night East Coast and your evening West Coast. It's a beautiful evening on the East Coast here. This is your daily stimulus report on your first, second, and your third stimulus check where we talk about everything, including EIDL and PPP. We're actually gonna talk the third checks. We're gonna zoom in on unemployment, PPP and EIDL, and a little bit on the child tax credit, okay? And we're going to try and do this as unedited as possible because I want to go watch a movie. I know, totally selfish, but <laughs> I want to go watch a movie. <laughs> Let's get into your news. Welcome back, everybody. I am Edward Builder. To all my loyal subscribers out there, welcome back for another video. And if you are joining us for the first time today, welcome. Consider becoming a subscriber. I'm going to dive straight into unemployment here because I'm getting a lot of questions. <laughs> a lot of questions on the $10,200, okay? Um, a lot of people are saying, I already filed my 2020 taxes, Builder. What do I do, okay? Uh, do I go out and rush out and amend this? Well, listen. There were 40 million of you that applied for unemployment last year. Record high numbers, okay? Averaging around $45,000. The majority of you are going to get $10,200 that you don't have to pay back in taxes, okay? The IRS released an official statement. Do not go and amend it, okay? Do not go and amend it. They're going to create some easy way of doing this. Wait for the guidelines to come out. They're going to offer some guidelines here and get this done for you, okay? Now, some people are asking about uh, if they're joint filers, husband and wife, they both got unemployment. How does that work? How does that officially work, okay? It's per individual, Okay, it's per individual. Ten thousand two hundred dollars is tax free. All right, so that means you, you the husband, and you the wife. Ten thousand two hundred. Ten thousand two hundred. That's a total of twenty thousand four hundred dollars. Now, if one or other, one or the other of you gained more unemployment, let's say one of you got twenty thousand, and maybe the other only got I don't know five thousand, you can't carry any of that balance over. You can't say, well, you know, I only got five thousand. Can we push some of his ten thousand onto mine? No, you can't do it that way, okay? You can't take it in the other direction either and take, you know, the 5000 left over and then run it over to his his side or her side to make it $15,000 forgivable on that side. No, no. It's per individual. So husband, wife, if you guys both earned $10,200 or greater, you get to deduct that money. But anything less than that, if, say, $7,000 plus $10,000, you're only going to be able to deduct $17,000. I hope that makes sense. Let's talk about the child tax credit. I had a question on this earlier today and I wanted to address it directly. Uh, the question was, what's the whole point of the portal, right? What is this point of the portal? Well, the point of the portal is so that you can get your funds, first of all, right? So you can see the recurring checks, whether it's gonna be monthly, whether it's gonna be every three months, whether it's gonna be every six months for that year total time. Um, but it's also to keep the data up to date as accurate as possible because you don't get to keep this money if you get overpaid. It's not like the stimulus checks where it's like winner, winner, chicken dinner. No, in this case, it's uh, it's uh, I don't know what the opposite of winner, winner, chicken dinner, winner, winner, chicken dinner is, but you lose. You got to pay it back, okay? <laughs> so, so whatever that is, you lose. All right. Um, so a couple scenarios could happen here, and this is why you want to keep your portal updated. Uh, twenty twenty. If you let's say you filed your twenty nineteen taxes and it was a lower lower income, and then you set up your portal and you start gaining your monthly recurring checks. 300 250 dollars whatever it is per child children under the age of six is 300 per month and children above six through 17 is 250 per month okay so whatever that is whatever that value is that you're getting if you made more money in 2020 and it made that ineligible all of a sudden you're actually getting more money than you're supposed to be getting right so when it comes time to file 2021 taxes that's when you're going to lose, <laughs> right? That's when you're going to lose, okay? And you don't want to be surprised, right? I, I would hate to see you have to pay all this money back. So, and a couple, another example is if you have transitioning children, right? If you filed and your child right now is 17 and you get start gaining $250 for that child, before the program ends in the year, if that child becomes 18, they're out, right? So you don't want to have to then have to pay back all that extra $250 and vice versa. If the child goes from the age five to say six, that's a $50 difference, right? So you don't want to have to pay all that money back. 
just uh, keep your portal up to date as much as possible. I know it's, it seems like a pain, pain to do, but it's going to save you come tax time. So millions of you have received your stimulus check money already, okay? And some of you are going to have to wait a little bit longer, okay? This hit headline news, and so many people are upset with Wells Fargo and Chase Bank. I, I'm actually a Wells Fargo member. I wasn't upset with them, but, uh, yeah, so many of you out there are upset, upset. They're basically, you know, claiming that they're holding the checks longer so they could gain interest off all this money, millions and millions and, well, billions of dollars, okay? So they could gain interest off of all this money, and... Wells Fargo's uh, response, they came out to announce that they are basically only holding the uh, checks because like they have a post-date cutoff time. Basically, if it, w if it went into the bank after a certain time, it goes into the next day, so on and so forth. If it hit on the weekend, well, now you're looking at Monday, right? So all this stuff came up, okay? <laughs> I can see both sides of it. I know Wells Fargo will hold, uh, will hold payments that I received from customers, et cetera, right? So I've seen it happen with Wells Fargo before, and I don't know. I don't know if they're earning interest off my money or not. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure, <laughs> okay? But that's just both sides, and I just wanted you to hear it, all right? Now, stimulus checks are flowing. Millions of you are already starting to see your $1,400. And remember, it's multiplied per dependent. So if you have children at home, if you have children in college, if you have adult dependents, you multiply all of them by $1,400, and then you add on top of it, you the filer, right? So, and that's you or your spouse if you're filing joint or if you're filing single, just yourself, right? Add that on top and cash it in. <laughs> if you haven't already done so, you can support the channel by tapping the old like button, okay? Every time you touch the like button, YouTube recommends this video to more and more people, really spreads the message and helps us out right here, helping you, okay? We're trying to help you all. Uh, you could also share us on Facebook or Twitter, spread the message that way. I do have other videos where I discuss building wealth strategies through passive income, royalties, the stock market, and real estate. Hit the old alert button, notification button, so you can get alerted to when these videos come out. Uh, just a reminder on EIDL, there is $15 billion coming to the program. $10 billion is going to go one way for $10,000 grants. That's everybody in priorities one and two. 30% reduction in gross receipts, 300 or fewer employees. Uh, and uh, in a low-income community. The $5 billion over here is going to go towards $5,000 supplemental grants, and that is for 10 or fewer employees, 50% reduction in gross receipts. And there's still a question mark waiting for the guidelines from the SBA to know whether it's going to go to new applicants, whether it's going to go to the $15,000 applicants over here. It, it will reach the people that if they had a 50% reduction, that received ten thousand, they're going to get fifteen thousand dollars. That is confirmed, okay? But that five thousand dollars, the extra or possibly new application, we don't know exactly if that's going to service new people or if it's just going to service everybody from the CARES Act from one 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 zero previous to December twenty seventh of twenty twenty, who suffered had ten or fewer suffered from fifty percent reduction and was not in a low income community, okay? And that's the difference there. All right. Uh, another big another big thing to point out on EIDL. They're asking for the 4506T, and if you do not have your 2019 taxes filed yet, they're not going to be able to verify you. Okay, <laughs> so uh, they probably should. Uh, they probably should make a big public service announcement on this. Uh, really, they're relying on me to do it. Okay, <laughs> but uh, EIDL 2019 taxes have to be done when you go and submit that 4506T, and if it's not, when they go to look you up waiting for the transcript to come back from the IRS, they're going to say it's not on file. It doesn't exist. And unfortunately, that could deny you, okay? That could get you denied the balance of your $10,000 or the new $5,000, uh, and th there's no appeal process right now. So uh, will that change in the future? I don't know. It's not going to change right now. So get make sure your 2019 taxes are done before you submit 4506T, okay? Uh, we announced three glitches on this channel here. Uh, very big, important glitches. Uh, one, pretty easy solution, right? You just got to click an extra box to start your start your processing. So check out all these videos on glitches, okay? They are going to help you advance and get your $10,000. There's two videos here. I'll put the first one there. And then followed by this other one, which you're going to have to send an email to the SBA to get this one fixed, okay? So check out both of those glitches, and it's going to help you advance, all right? We're just trying to help you tell everybody on this channel and spread the message, okay? Because... Man, I hate to see you lose getting your $10,000 because you didn't click just a little box, okay? <laughs>
We're going to step over to the Paycheck Protection Program, PPP. Hey, let me know in the comments how I'm doing with this unedited, okay? Uh, if it's going well, I'm not going to edit ever again. <laughs> We're, let's talk about the deadline for uh, Paycheck Protection Program. This is PPP. The current deadline, no confusion, okay? The current deadline right now is March 31st. So if you haven't applied yet for draw one or draw two, remember this is free, forgivable money. Most of the gig workers out there are still approaching this channel saying, I had no idea this money even existed. Yes, there's no credit check. No credit check, free forgivable money up to $20,832 per draw, which comes out to like $40,166 for the two draws, okay? Huge money here, huge money. There is Biz2 Credit that keeps sending back, uh, they keep kicking back applications who are applying within eight weeks' time, saying that the SBA is not allowing them to apply for draw number two. I don't think that's a real email. I don't think the SBA is uh, declaring that because it really only says that you have to use up all your funds before you could get your second draw on eligible expenses, okay? It doesn't say that it has to be within eight weeks, that you have to wait a total of eight weeks. And uh, Biz2 Credit... Right now is sending that that uh, notification back to people i think that they're not wanting to process the applications any further they might have some confusion of the intent but if you look at womply womply is processing one and two all in one application process you get in their fast lane and get this thing done now the deadline extension we're going to talk about this because congress is going to be voting on this and they want to extend it to may 31st this is a proposed date it is not a law yet but they're going to vote to extend this to possibly May 31st and then allow plus 30 days behind the scenes to June 30th for the SBA to continue to process loan applications. So your last day to get the loan in is May 31st, but you can still get your funds between May 31st and June 30th so that there's nobody left out there in limbo, okay? Check out my videos that I posted earlier today because we're going to start a movement here. All of my viewers that are filed with Draw one, draw two, filing with line 31. This is your net. When the new rules came out, end of February, March 1st, boy, everybody is very, very upset about the fact that the SBA is not going to allow any type of retroactive PPP to go and adjust that net to now get gross. So everybody that got on the ball and, and wanted to get their funds quickly suffered. And I'm telling you, suffered. I have comments all over my video that are saying, my, I could have got another $20,000, I could have got another $10,000, frustrated with the SBA. You can go and read all the comments. And we're tagging senators, okay? We're tagging all of our congressmen and our congresswomen to let them know that we need a change here, okay? You're going to vote on a deadline extension? Make sure you include retroactive PPP. Hashtag retro PPP, everybody, okay? Go check out my video here earlier today. I'm going to post on these every single day. Uh, so that everybody has a forum to go in and talk and express their frustrations. And then we could tag all of our congressmen and women to help get this movement going, okay? <laughs> I thank you all for your support. And uh, I know everybody else watching and viewing these channel uh, really, really, really appreciates it. So thank you guys so much. Remember, leaving a comment enrolls you into my next giveaway because when we hit 20,000 subscribers, we're giving away to one lucky subscriber $500 to a lucky comment that we randomly choose from down below, okay? So comment in all the videos, and if you need help figuring out what to comment, let us know where you are in the PPP process. If you got draw one, draw two, where you applied, if they allowed you to use gross, so we can help out all the viewers on this channel. So everybody, the next step is up to you, okay? Take some of the stimulus money and get out there and start changing your future, all right? You can start opening and investing into new businesses. I'm constantly looking for partners in my short-term rental businesses, my B&B. So if you want to talk about that, you can find me in the description on Instagram, or get out there and start investing. Right now in the description, you can check out Webull or BlockFi. Webull wants to give you two free stocks valued up to about $2,800 after you deposit $100 into the platform. They just upgraded this again, okay? And some people are winning some Google stocks, pretty awesome. Or BlockFi, uh, depositing anywhere between $50 and $250 to secure your cryptocurrency can earn you about 8.6%. That is huge. <laughs> I use both of these platforms each and every day. Weeble has some pretty interesting games you can play. Like, check this out. You go and get to spin this wheel right here. And all I did was invited friends and they gave me a chance to spin the wheel. And look at that. I just won free stocks. And the other day, I won this. $262 worth of free Facebook stock. Pretty awesome stuff. Weeble's trying to support building a portfolio for you, okay? So I think they do a great job at doing that. And you can find me in the description if you want to follow me on Instagram. Don't follow anybody else on this channel. I'm surprised I have to keep announcing this, but every time I read the comments, there's always somebody answering somebody that's asking them to go to WhatsApp or meet them on Instagram or 
cloning my face and putting a fake phone, <laughs> fake phone number there, okay? Don't call any of those numbers. They want to scam you, okay? So just don't trust some of those comments. <laughs> I thank you all again, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.